So I thought I'll give my presentation a title that reads like a book. Um, that, uh, that doesn't help the attention maybe so much. So uh, I think we'll better uh, uh, go forward. So uh, I think um, I did two things different. First of all, uh, I'm not telling about anything new. So that's uh, <laughs> a bit of a spoiler alert, but uh, I'm not telling anything new. And the second is I will start with a summary. And it's not a summary per se of this uh, presentation, but a, more, uh, a summary of what I come across in the field. Um, I've, I work with farms uh, every day of the year. Uh, I work with automation every day of the year. And basically the, the summary of it all is automation is never a goal, uh, in my opinion. In my opinion, and it, it's funny to hear from somebody who sells automation uh, on a daily basis, but automation can never be the goal. The goal is higher yields, better quality, better uniformity, uh, reducing labor. And automation, of course, can be a means towards that goal. Um, when I was writing this, I saw, hey, I, I have uh, productivity, precision, profitability. It's nice alliterating. Um, and it made me think about, um, I know, don't know who is in marketing, but they, those are always bragging about their seven Ps. So I thought, okay, maybe I can get more Ps to this. Uh, <laughs> to this. So, um, uh, and correct me if, if I'm uh, wrong, maybe we can come up with more, but I thought, okay, predictability is something. Perfection, it's, it's not a promise, by the way, because <laughs> I have to be careful, but uh, perfection, uh, power, of course, it, it empowers you to, uh, to to create higher uh, yields, proven success, success, so that's seven, but I'm in sales, so I'm competitive, so I thought, okay, one more, and then we outbeat the marketing guys, um, purchasing process, it's actually two, um, and I think uh, uh, today, um, I don't want to brag, but I think today is the start uh, of, of many purchasing processes, because it's not that by the end of the, uh, by the exit, you have all, sign, uh, all to sign a contract, but a uh, purchasing process, it, it takes time. You delve into um, possibilities. You discuss with suppliers what uh, can be done and what, uh, what is necessary to, to take the next step in your production. So um, I think this summarizes pretty much um, what we at TDI ISO, uh, and I think also our techno, uh, what we're doing on a daily basis, it's, it's, it's helping uh, our customers evolve. Um, and that brought me to the next thing because um, I'm pointing towards the, uh, I'm looking towards the plant propagators a little bit now. Um, so your customer who buys your young plant, they invest in a high-tech greenhouse. They invest in expensive grow lights. They, expense, they uh, invest in a, uh, a climate computer with uh, maybe some uh, uh, AI and data analytics uh, inside it as well. Um, they invest in, in um, logistical solutions. So what they expect from you is a young plan that, that answers to all the investments uh, that they made. So they want it as uniform as possible. Plus, but this has already been, uh, been said, of course, um, the availability and the cost of labor go up uh, enormously as well. And funny enough, in the most cases, in the young tomato plant propagation, the transplanting part is still not fully automated. And that's quite funny uh, because it takes a lot of labor uh, and it's a repetitive task, so uh, we can do it. And where I started with, I'm not here to tell you something new, Transplanting is what uh, TDA ISO has been doing for uh, the last almost 30 years uh, already. So in this case, our automation is an answer to the challenges uh, we have. Um, and then um, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll keep it short uh, with our turnkey solutions. Uh, step by step, uh, I want to briefly touch on uh, how that can look like. So from uh, denesting the uh, or uh, destacking the uh, the rockwool blocks towards a fully transplanted rockwool block that goes into your uh, production. So it starts with something that um, we do uh, for many years already as well. It's just you place in a pallet with rockwool blocks, uh, we destack it and we put it on two conveyors. Uh, those are the buffer conveyors that go through the watering tunnel because it, uh, they, of course, have to uh, soak up the, uh, the, the water they need. Um, into the transplanting uh, station, um, 
of course, the, 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 the trays with the young uh, propagated plants uh, right, right out of the AVF uh, of our techno uh, come into the transplanter. They are transplanted into the rock wool blocks, uh, obviously. Um, they go into a buffer table, uh, just to, uh, uh, of course, they have to be buffered before they can process. And that can go either onto a logistical solution, like an ideal uh, carriage that, that moves your blocks into your uh, concrete floor, or uh, we can transplant them then in, into the, the benches, the moving benches, uh, automatically. So in a nutshell, this is basically, uh, it's not new technology. Combined, you can consider it to be new, because funny enough, the transplanting part is still not, uh, not automated that much. Um, this is something available uh, already for many years. So it's, um, uh, it's modular because you can start with any part of this system that you would like. If you say, okay, the, the destacking of the rock wool I do by hand, let me start with transplanting or just the other way around. So it, it's completely modular. Uh, of course, you can reach a high capacity with it and it's connected with other systems like the moving benches or uh, the, the AVF. Uh, we can com combine it with any system in place or uh, soon to be in place. But that's not all and that's um, the whole, basically the whole working area, all the processes can be automated. Uh, also not new, so seeding, we can uh, supply you with seeding lines. Uh, without any problem, we can combine, uh, supply you with sorting installations because, uh, as you heard before, uh, earlier today, before the grafting, sorting is an essential step. Of course, the grafting is a, uh, a step that uh, we all uh, know about since today. And all the logistics um, around it, it's, uh, it's available. So, basically, your one-stop shop for your processing. So, give us uh, the layout of your processing room and we can make the most optimal situation uh, for your case, basically. Thank you.